Master. Level 4 upgrade. Hey guys, Tristan here, and this time around we have another upgrade for Master. Today I will be installing Traxxas 2055 Servo. This was donated to me by Dark Ecliptic Heart. Thanks a lot, man. Now the reason why I'm going to be installing a 2055 against the one that's already in there is because, well, the Servo in Master is as old as the RC. 20, 17 years old. Where did I get 20 from? But it is old. It is just out of date. And I would like to get, the, this is the last thing I need to do to get the electronics up to date. Uh, the one in there is a Futaba. That's all I know. So, I'll, I don't really know what uh, model it is. It kind of doesn't have the sticker on it anymore. But, the I'm putting the 55 in there because I don't have a 56 on hand. I would like to get waterproof in here, but if I don't have it on hand, I guess I can't do it. So, uh, I'm going to be installing this one for now and throwing away that one. Alright, so before we begin, we do want to make sure the RC, key, RC car is on, and we can take a quick snapshot of the position of the servo horn. Uh, you want to make sure this is the exact same position, if not closer, or else you'll have a fun time trying to reset your servo and your servo horn when you're trying to run it. I've had to deal with this problem before, but now I'm going to make sure I do it right this time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a quick picture with my phone, or make a mental image, but either whichever one works. So let's get let's unscrew the servo with this one screw, and make sure to turn off the car before doing that, so you don't strain the servo. All right, with the one screw removed, we can just pull the servo horn right on off. Next, we're going to unscrew the four screws that hold the servo to the chassis. All right, with the four screws removed, now we can move on to the receiver. So we can get to the connections on the receiver, we're going to have to remove this little brace that holds it in place. And it's held on with two screws. One here, and one over here. Alright, with the two screws removed, this little brace comes right on up. Now we can get to the connections on the receiver. We're going to be removing the throttle servo. So that is on channel 2. So we locate channel 2 on this receiver. And just gently shimmy it out, and off it comes. Now we can take the servo, ran off. And there we have the new servo against the old one. I'm starting to think that this is actually a Traxxas servo. Pro uh, that's highly unlikely because the servos he got uh, that this car had were from aircrafts and Traxxas I don't think did aircrafts at the time I don't know I really don't know it's a lot very similar in design I could be wrong you could just have the exact same case style but uh yeah so I'm gonna throw this one away probably save the receiver cable I don't know don't know yet. I'll decide later. And we can now install the new servo. Alright. Alright, to install the new servo, it's the exact same way, just in reverse. First, I'm going to install the servo. I'm going to wrap the cable underneath it and slide it into position, making sure not to pinch the wires that are go running underneath it. With that in position, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to connect it to the receiver and it goes into channel 2. Alright, with the new servo plugged in, we can now put the brace that holds the receiver back into position. First, I'm going to take all these wires and fit them in this little hole in, in, that goes underneath it. Then I'm going to put down, screw in the two screws that hold it into, into position. With the receiver brace screwed down and in position, we can now move on to the servo. Alright, lastly we have to take the servo horn and put it into position according to the picture we had taken earlier. Now it's alright if it doesn't fit exactly, you can always slightly adjust it. But it'll slide in right just like that. You want to make sure the servo is off. Just screw down this one screw. 
Here is before. And here is after, guys. Check it out. Seems kind of more noisy than the old one. I don't know. I, just, I might be hearing things, but... Um, seems about the same to me. I'd have to take a look back and really compare, but... I, honestly, I am very happy to have a newer servo as a throttle. Uh, thanks, Jason, for this awesome upgrade. And that was Master's Level 4 upgrade.